Arid environments may seem quiet and empty, but living in the desert, you likely know they are the home to an array of diverse plants and animals. Sadly, mining, deforestation, urbanization of natural lands, and fires are just a few of the human activities that are detrimental to the natural balance of these ecosystems. Experts work hard to deploy new methods and technologies to restore these environments. However, this is easier said than done. Replanting native seeds has many, many obstacles, some of which are dry environments where native seeds struggle to germinate, animals that eat and relocate native seeds, and invasive species that are highly competitive and steal nutrients and the little water native species have. Seed balls are a technology that show promise in the field of restoration. They are used to distribute seeds, but little research has been done on them. They are easy to make, being a mixture of soil, clay, seeds, and water. The mixture hardens, deterring seed-eating predators, and doesn't dissolve until the seed has sufficient water to grow. All of these attributes will help natives compete against the invasives. Our study looked at seed balls in a greenhouse. We planted different sizes of seed balls with different densities of seeds, and found the more seeds was better, regardless of the size of seed ball. Many studies about seed balls need to be conducted and replicated on different populations of native seeds to find the most efficient methods of restoration. These studies could look at how they're affected by different amounts of rainfall or how they're distributed in different ways. We'd like to thank Dr. Gornish for her guidance in everything from developing a question to analysis, Mr. Jonas for all his support, and Sarsef for giving us the opportunity to share our love of seeds, science, and the environment. Thank you for listening.